Welcome back to the Q&A section of today's show. We were talking about noise reduction when shooting raw. Does it matter? Does it make a difference? If you don't know the answer to that question, go watch today's proper show and then come back here and watch the Q&A. So it is time for the Q&A. What do we have going on here today? Let's see what's going on in the comments. If you're watching live, remember you just stick a question in here. You write photo Joseph in front of it. It shows up right on my screen like those. And then I know that you have a question. Um, and if, of course, you were not watching live, just stick it into the comments. We'll do our best to get to it. Construction podcast. And these questions don't have to be necessarily related to this topic, but, you know, if you have two questions that are, that's awesome. Construction podcast says, a bit off topic, no such thing, but how do you set bulb mode on the GH5? Does it need a remote? Oh, um, no, why don't you just go manual and scroll down to bulb, right? Oh, that's a funny question. I don't know that I've... This is the G9. Let me grab the GH5, because the G9 it does. Um, I think I got a GH5 right here. Let's see here. I am quite sure... I don't. Where did I put my camera? I'm quite sure. Look. I can walk away, still plugged into my ears, because Jake is an awesome, awesome dude and sent me a lovely, lovely value for value gift to the show. He sent me wireless monitors. Jake, if you're watching, love your brother. Um, super awesome dude. Okay, uh, what am I checking in here for? Let's just have a battery, it does. Let's turn this on. And we have battery. I set this into manual exposure. I ramp it down. Yeah, just ramp it. You go into manual and ramp it all the way down. So. What's the easiest way to do this? Um, let's do this. Let's do a top down on here. That'll, that'll work out well. Then you can see exactly what's happening. Super. Let's make sure that is focused and overhead. All right. So I'm in manual exposure mode. And let's see how this is focused on the camera. Let's raise that up a little bit. Um, I'm in manual. So adjusting the duration with the command dial here. You can see it's showing up down there. It shows 10 seconds right now. It's, uh, it's cropped. To, well, there, and it's set up to a video out. That's why it's uh, cropped like that. But anyway, I keep running it down, 50 seconds, 60 seconds, and then it goes to B. B is for bulb. Now, to do bulb, the, the idea of, if anybody doesn't know what bulb is, bulb means when you're holding down the shutter, as long as you're holding it down, the shutter stays open. The problem with actually physically holding down the shutter is you're probably moving the camera, right? So it's in bulb right now. If I push the button, we get it out of the self-timer mode. So I'm holding the button. It's an exposure. I let go and the shutter closes. The problem with that is I can move the camera. So you generally do want to have a remote cable. Um, so something that would be good for that would be like this guy right here. This is, this is the Lumix one. There are third party ones as well. This is a really simple remote. You get this and you plug it in. And then, let's see, where's that? It's over here, the remote, plug that in there. And now the camera can be on a tripod completely untouched. And now I can push this button. Let's make sure you can hear it. And as long as I'm holding this, it doesn't matter if I move or not, I'm not going to move the camera. And then the shutter closes. So you don't have to have it. You should um, definitely be a good idea to have if you're going to do long exposure bulb photography with your camera. All right, next question. John Doe, would you recommend your X Air after using it for a while? Looking to buy a mixer audio interface. Yes, John Doe, I love it, love it, love it. This is the XR16. Um, it is the Behringer X Air. I can, I can here, let me put a camera on that. Zoom out of this so I can find it. Where is it? It's kind of hard to, there we go, navigate sometimes here. There we go. There's that. This is going to be a little bit of a crooked shot. And I don't even know if it's going to be in focus. Let's see if I can focus on that. Oh, it's set to manual focus. I'm trying to focus. There we go. Close enough. There we go. There's the X Air. You can see all the stuff plugged into it. That is, it's not actually at an angle, that's just the camera. Um, the X Air is the auto interface. So this is really cool. So what the way this is set up right now, so this is my audio that I'm talking on right now. That's my wireless lab, which you can see is sitting right there. So there's the wireless lab receiver. This is the new wireless air, uh, wireless ears, my wireless monitor. So that's good enough. Um, so let's see here. This is a second microphone. That is a tabletop mic. It's the this is really hard to move smoothly. There we go. It's that mic there, the, the Heil PR40. So if I'm doing a podcast where we're not on video, I do that. Um, one of these is the mix coming in from my chat system. If I'm doing a live chat. One of these is coming in from, I don't even know, from another system somewhere. I forget. Um, I think that's the computer coming in. There's a bunch of audio interfaces coming in. I've got an iPod coming in there for the house music whenever I switch to that. Uh, so that's it. So it's fantastic. The one thing I would say if you're looking at buying one, so this will record, 
actually go back to this real quick. Um, this is recording right now. You see that red light? It is, well, you can't see it, but um, there's a red light on right here. There's a USB thumb drive in there. It is recording today's show, and it records a stereo audio file. And what's really cool is you can set either the left or the right channel independently. So here, let me show you that. Um, here we go. So this is the interface for it. The recorder is running right now. This is recording the main show on the left channel, and the right channel is just my audio. So right now, both those are the same thing, but if there's any music coming in, if some, some other device makes a sound, that's gonna come into here and get recorded, but not on this channel. And I can set these up separately, right? I can set those up so that, let's say I'm having, doing an interview, I can have me on one channel, someone else on the other. The only limitation that I've run into here is that's your limit, is you can only do one stereo pair with those two channels. The next version of this up will actually record an isolated, an ISO track for every single input. So you could have, you know, 10 people on air all talking with on the separate mics and have everybody's dialogue recorded separately. So if that's something that you need, then definitely go up from the XR16. I think it's the, I think it's an 18. I think that's the level where they start doing that. I have to double check with Behringer, obviously, but um, but it's really, really cool. Um, I, yeah, I'm digging this thing. It is, it is an awesome, awesome. And I'm like, I know, I swear I know 5% of what this thing can do. Um, Oh, thank you for the question. Excellent. Uh, Burns Tech says, electronic shutter must be off. Oh, okay, yes. To get into bulb mode, you cannot be in electronic shutter mode, which is also uh, if you're in silent mode. If you set your camera to silent mode, then it will, it will enable electronic shutter because that's how it stays silent. And if you're in electronic shutter slash silent mode, then you're right. You cannot get down to bulb. You can't even get past, I don't remember, like a half a second or something like that. So... Uh, yeah, so if you're having, if you can't reduce your exposure any longer than, say, a second or half a second or so, that's why. It's because you're, elect you're in electronic shutter mode. Thank you, Burns, for pointing that out. That's absolutely true. Burns says the app works for two for Bulb as long as your device is running the app doesn't die. Um, interesting. Okay. I was wondering about that when I was pulling up the remote, and I didn't know the answer to that, so I wasn't going to mention it, but thank you for saying that. So if you are using the iOS Panasonic app or Android Panasonic app, uh, apparently that will work for Bulb as well. Fantastic. Thanks for sharing. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, so Burns is asking for me to confirm. I don't, I haven't tried it. I don't know, but it's, it sounds good. Sounds like a good, good plan. Construction podcast. Are you going to make a new podcast episode? Not for my podcast. I was doing the podcast that was kind of the photo apps expert podcast where I was bringing in guests and it just never got any traction. So no, I'm not going to go back to that. Um, I'm, I use it if I'm on somebody else's podcast now and it's audio only. That's when I use that mic. Because it does sound, you know, it's got that booming radio voice, but I can't move around and I can't use my hands. But if I'm doing a show where, here, we'll just do it. We'll just throw it up here. Ryan, can you activate this mic and turn off my, uh, my lav, please? So I'm just going to keep on talking here. Uh, Ryan's going to switch that over. And you'll hear the difference on the two microphones there. And it is, it is significant. It's a wonderful, wonderful sound, sound, sounding sound. But I can't, I can't like do my computer thing like this and show camera stuff. I got to, you know, I'd be like this all the time. So I don't, I don't do this. All right, let's bring back the lab, please. So yeah, it's a, it's a great, great mic. The Heil PR40 is just oh, such a good sound, but I can't use it for the, for the daily show stuff. Um, Burns Tech has confirmed that yes, it does work bulb operation um, with the, uh, the remote app. So that's fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, that's great. Anything else going on here? Nothing else showing up in the comments, questions? Nope. Uh, Reese says, my channel is really high quality. Thank you. You need way more subscribers. I concur. Go tell all your friends. Make sure they tell all their friends. It's exponential how that works. Um, that'd be great. I'd love some more subs. <laughs> it's growing. We hit 15K. We're like 15 and a half K now. Uh, you know, it's funny because, you know, obviously I watch all these other YouTubers and see some who have, uh, some who have slower growth, obviously. Some who have similar. Some who have faster, and then some <laughs> way faster. And, you know, everybody looks at Peter McKinnon. And he's like, he got a million after a year, two million after two years. What the, before two years? Like whatever. But his stuff's great. I mean, I love Peter's show, um, and he has absolutely the best role, B roll on YouTube, without a doubt. So you know, we can't all be like Peter McKinnon, but that's okay. We do a totally different show, and I'm okay with that. But I would like to get some more. My goal is 100. Just in case you're wondering. That's my target, 100K. It's not like, you know, 100K and I'm going to cancel the show or anything like that, but that's my, like, financial goal. Hit 100 and things can really significantly change for what I do. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. We will see. Construction Podcast says, some tips on flash photography for, for interiors. That's a very vague question, but if you want to specifically 
kind of what you're talking about specifically. Um, put those into the, sh the question, the comments, whatever, later on this show or in any show. It doesn't matter where you put it. Um, I will happily tailor a show around that, but I, I need some specifics, I think. That would be handy. Would be handy. Okay, that's it. Uh, yep, we're going to knock it off there. Thank you very much, everybody. Appreciate your time chiming in today. It is always awesome to see you. Always awesome to hear some good questions. Hopefully, you learned a thing or two. And uh, we'll see you Monday for a very, very, very fun show involving this device here. I know you're all wondering, what the? It's going to be awesome. See you next week. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.